Welcome to the Field of Discipline. Since the Age of Heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors. An unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? <clears throat> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation. Directly to their fundament. It became known as... The Naughty Stick! The fucking naughty stick. Chat. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Chat. I think we need the naughty stick. Listen. We need the naughty stick. I want the naughty stick so bad. Can we have like an IRL naughty stick? Can one of you like send me a naughty stick so I can have it as a prop for the stream, please? Daya's name is on that stick. <laughs> You're right. Oh my God. This is the best. Oh my God. This has been amazing. During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. Oh my. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. We all need Jesus and the naughty stick. <laughs> Are they trying to change this timeline? The fall of the world tree would not have been enough to extinguish one <laughs> so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. What? Tonight, there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honored if you would join us. Grandpa's alive! We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us. But in this respect, at least, we can provide. Here we go. That night, the High Lama holds a banquet in Dagomar's honor. Uh, the long-suffering disciples are overjoyed to have an evening's respite from the training and eat, drink, and dance till the early hours. Then morning comes. Morning comes all over the place. Uh, <laughs> Awake at last. Hmm? It is high time we were on our way. Big Bear, no, stop. And no, I'm not having a stroke crackish, or at least I hope I'm not. It doesn't smell like toast, so we're good. That is muted. If the Grand Master was still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. Hmm. This was a disappointing trip. I mean, I guess we learned something, but still. Oh, hey, books. There's a book of wisdom entitled The Sutra of Angry La. The Master teaches that man is the world, and the world is man. To devote oneself to good deeds is to serve the world. To bring goodness into the world is to protect it. The master teaches that through suffering, we learn of ease. That through sadness, we learn of joy. To love mankind and thereby the world, this is our duty. Man is the world. Goodness serves the world. Learn good things from bad and thereby love the world. These are the wisdoms of angry law, realm beyond the clouds. These are the precepts by which we live. Okay. Real edge of your seat reading there. On the nature on the nature of the naughty stick. 
Yes, please enlighten us on the nature of the naughty stick. I, I need this in my life. All right, here we go. The Grand Masters of Angry Law wield a mighty weapon whose name echoes through the ages. I speak not of the Wave Cutter Scimitar, nor of the Staff of Torn Clouds. No, I speak of the Naughty Stick. The origins of this legendary tool of instruction can be traced back to the very founding of Angry La. It is said that the stick itself chose the very first Grand Master. Some believe that it was carved from a branch of Yggdrasil, and that even a dragon could not break it, though it tried with all its might. Of course, it is best known for its use in punishing young monks who, uh, for lapses of focus. The pain it inflicts is rumored to be so severe the acolytes fear that their very souls have been spanked from their bodies. Wow, they take their spankings very seriously. Why are the pages stuck together? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright. That's a thing that we read. Okay. No. Good morning, Luminary. Did you enjoy last night's banquet? With the Grand Master gone, there is little we of Angry Law can offer to you apart from our hospitality. Please, feel free to rest here as long as you like. Well, shit. Hello, did you- how did you enjoy the party last night? Our butter tea is the best in all Erdrea, don't you think? No. It was horrible, it tasted like ass! Yeah, let's um... Be here. Oh, Luminary, I trust you slept well last night. His Holiness awaits you outside. It seems he is keen to wish you luck on the next stage of your journey. He has said he intended to speak with you alone, but I hear raised voices coming from the other side of the door. What could be happening out there, I wonder? What indeed? Let's find out. She demands. us. Wow. And the Hermit? What news of him? Forgive us, Your Holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced. Then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Alone? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. Huh. The Weird. mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. Uh oh. We have some drop frames. Uh-oh. Okay, it looks okay. We can see up your robes. Hey, Mr. Monk, we can see right up those robes. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angry La. Well, based on what I can see up your robes, you've definitely brought shame upon Angry La. Just saying. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. Yeah, you can. Come on. The Knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? No! I don't wanna! No, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. You must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. I wonder if this kid is going to end up joining us permanently. That'd be weird. Also, I wonder what his combat capabilities are, you know? I guess we shall find out soon. I know exactly where the 
path is to get up there. It was that place that was being guarded earlier. So we'll go down there real quick and do it up. Do it up. You remember this part? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do we get the naughty stick? I would like to get the naughty stick. The naughty dick. Find some uh, sweet toe rings for him to equip. Hello. Why, if it isn't the luminary, His Holiness sent word that you would be coming. You are going to rescue the hermit who went off to the top of the mountain, correct? Please, be careful. It would not do for one as important as yourself to go missing too. Okay. Let's go. Who would be the top of your heart? Uh, for me, that would be Snow Lush. Easy, easy. Definitely Snow Lush. And then a tie between Ghosties and Vinci Pooh. I can't play favorite with the kids. Hello. That's fine. Oh, we, we, we did a 69 on the dragon. We, uh, we hit up that black dragon. And we did a 69. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's fight. Uh, abilities. I have dragon slash. Oh, get wrecked. Damn! Oh, that. Oh, this thing is getting wrecked. Oh, and he's paralyzed! This dragon is getting fucked! Oh, get wrecked. Our triumph was never in doubt. Damn. Get fucking wrecked! Bacon and dragon. Do all the 69s with the dragons. <laughs> what disappointment in my face, Nock? What are you talking about? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I wonder if Dragon Slash works on Dragon Rider. The answer is yes. Victory is ours. Yes, it does. All right. Let's uh, get the thing. And go up. Right trigger to fap. Fap harder. God damn it, fap harder. Fap as hard as you can. Is that a Kieran? A can't amount. Looks like a Kieran. Um. Hmm. Uh-oh. Ow. Rude. <laughs> so take it as a scaly now? Oh dear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might be a scaly, but I'm not a furry. Alright. He's inclusive at all kinks. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm at Shrine. There's a campsite up here. Somebody in there. Can't tell who it is, though. What? Is that gonna be, like, the guy? You know? The guy that everybody thinks is dead? <clears throat> really quick, we're gonna save. Just in case this ends up being some bullshit. Like a boss fight or some shit, you know? Alright, let's go. Let's go check this out. What's going on here? Hmm. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad, at least, that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Hmm. Oh! 
Rab? Oh no. He can't really be dead, can he? <gasps> Incredible. Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. Okay, that's funny and all, but like this is ruining the moment. Like I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Rab, and apparently he's dead. Like he's a lot skinnier than we last saw him, you know? <clears throat> ah, indeed. It seems oh my God. made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> As uh, Hendrix stuffs the dirty mag into his pocket. <laughs> but this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... Oh, the skies! Can it really be? Yep. Lord Robert! Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? Oh my god. No, he is still breathing. Yay! He's still alive. Hervey Grandpa's still alive. His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. Oh shit. What the fuck but was he doing? there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But how? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. Let's do it! But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Sure. Hmm. He is my grandpa. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready and we will begin. I can't just be like, bye grandpa. Hope you had a nice life. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I already saved and everything, so. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the right. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Oh boy, this looks suspiciously like the place we were in when we were fighting Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer in gray. Okay, no, this is very different. Never mind. J fucking K. J fucking K. Uh, Naval Frontline NFL. Hello, how's it going, friend? What up? Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. How you doing tonight? Uh, you gotta get him to sing the will first, but... <laughs> Another Sign. wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child. Sign the, the will. To the end of your journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but... Do you know what fate awaits you here? He is wise beyond his years. An intellectual giant. I must return to the world above and tell everyone I met such a marvel. <laughs> Do you think me a fool, boy? <laughs> Do not pretend. There is no need for pretense here. You are ignorant. This is as it should be. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. 
I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, this world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Before okay. Yggdrasil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the world tree. Mm. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. Oh, darn. Oh, gosh, darn it. Like what? As long Kinda as the dark. cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. Well, fuck that shit. Again with the ribbon in the front, they really like that style, don't they, Ants? This is your destiny. Accept it. For you cannot change it. Or, I can. or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? If you do, you are a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. I bet Rab is behind her. Some people just don't know when to give up. <sighs> or not. But I'm pretty sure she was talking about Rab. Okay. Let's let's sex explore, chat. When bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise or darken skies and banish night with holy light. Okay. This is part of the field of discipline, but oh my god, it's Rab! No way! Yay! <laughs> Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang, Grandmaster of Angrila. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Okay, apparently I am a sexist dickhole. Because I, not in a million years, did I imagine that Pang was a lady. Now, to be fair, when people usually say master, it's usually like a gendered thing, you know? So maybe that threw me off. But this actually threw me for a loop. I didn't have the slightest inkling that she was Pang. Not even a little bit. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? <laughs> 8 bit, give me a little more credit. Come on, just a teeny tiny bit, 8 bit, please. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. The precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. Also, Ants, I heard that song in my head. Thanks. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue, I swear it! Oh yes, ma'am, you handle that naughty stick. Yes, ma'am. Oh. 
He just came really hard. Uh, Kigalus, hello! I hope I've been pronouncing that correctly. How's it going? Everybody say hi to Kigalus. How you doing tonight? What up? Me too, Seiji. Me too. Cool. Well, would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. <laughs> Naughty stick. <laughs> hey, did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! Hmm. Yes. Very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage. But it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? <laughs> Woohoo! For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. What the fuck phrase is that? That's warmed my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. Phrasing. Phrasing. Ugh. Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. Just got uh, done with a long day eating dinner. Ooh, yummy. What's for Din Din? Yeah, I hear you. My days are pretty fucking long, too. <laughs> but welcome. I hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, oh, my. Is it... Is it really you, laddie? Oh, no, you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> stop your sniveling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here then? He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... And you went to all that trouble. As you can see... I'm perfectly fine. I was thinking this was gonna be like a whole fucking thing where I had to like go around fucking fighting bosses and shit, but I guess not. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. Stop right there. Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> finished? Oh, but we haven't even begun. Mm -hmm. Honored Luminary, if you would like to follow me. Uh, the fuck? And the music stopping and everything. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this. What is this all about? Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. More what now? For you. I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. Oh my. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai, our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, that can't be a bad thing. 
Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. I am loving the way they are pronouncing the name. It's just so fucking hilarious. It's just like comedic gold. I know. Yes, more cunts. More cunts indeed. If you can master it. <laughs> None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have faced before. Wow, you're 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 really selling this to me. Yeah, you Yeah, don't quit your day job. Well, <laughs> Do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? Sure. I let's knew do it. you would make the right choice. Now, let us begin. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. Are 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 we are we summoning a keyblade? <laughs> Almost. As good as can be expected for a first attempt. The heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the, the poor lad's not ready. Me? Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? B what? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. There is no one better suited to the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Uh Okay, fine, we'll do it. The secret technique of the Luminary of Legend, eh? If you can master that, there'll be no stopping you. Listen, laddie, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. After all, I've got my own secret power to master. Get yourself ready for a right royal rumble. Well, Digimar, are you ready to fight your own grandfather? Sure, let's do it. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage all in the name of speeding up your training of course mm. did she just mill <laughs> did oh. she just mill <laughs> oh. Oh. oh i i've not felt this alive in decades let me have a little blighter that's the spirit don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Just you watch me. <laughs> Luminary, prepare yourself. <gasps> Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. Oh my god, Brackish. The more you use it, <laughs> the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do. All right. Uh, all right, let's do it. Prepare us for his next attack. Ow. Excuse me. Fucking excuse me. Right, we're supposed to do this. What? That's it? That was it? Uh. Oh, hey. I almost feel bad about this. All right, 
There's one shadow down. Ow. Ow. Fucking shit. Uh, yeah, let's heal myself. Rude. Grandpa, what the fuck? Got nothing on Twitter. Yeah, I wonder if it's just me. It might be my ISP. Might be my ISP. I'm gonna have to make a phone call tomorrow. This is not okay. Uh, let's focus on grab. Woo, that did a lot better. That did a lot better. Of course he's pepped up. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I, well, I think I can. Hold on. Nope, I can't. Never mind. There we go. Hey, we did it. We did the thing. A shit ton of experience points. Oh, yes. Wonderful. I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say... I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, the power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now... I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? You beat me, even with the last secret of Angrila in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. Mike! How's it going, Mike? What up, dude? How you darn. <gasps> so this is where you have been hiding. Wait, I know that voice. Uh-oh. Mordigan. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. Oh shit. No! <laughs> Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach us here. <laughs> it seems I underestimated you. So inconsiderate. There was one last thing I wanted to teach you. Fine. It seems we must do it the hard way. I like the hard way. You two will just have to <laughs> learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. Uh-oh. What? So the last secret of Angrila was not the last one. And Quadra Slash wasn't either. Of course not, foolish man. There is another. A supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Ayi. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. So that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? Ooh. 
This thing is you sexy. Must do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. We have only one chance. Right. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! <sighs> Oh damn. Yes. The last and greatest of all the secrets of Anguilla. The technique to end all techniques. Adoken. <laughs> Solar flare. Dark hentai. Are you okay, 8-Bit? Is 8-Bit okay over there? Aww, that's sad. I liked her in the way she pronounced more can't. <laughs> he is back with us. But he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Exhausted after the events in the void, Dagomar falls into a deep sleep. In his dreams, he sees the smiling face of Grandmaster Pang, lit by the light of the ultimate ability of Angrila. Then, morning comes. Morning comes very, very hard. Very hard. So saucy. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. Ah. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He's outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Okay. Okay, Doker. Let's go. Do, do. Wait, what was that? Hold up. Oh, it was like an hourglass thing. Never mind. Go out here. Oh, hello there, laddie. Better late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? He got all his fat back. It is your... Physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal <laughs> slighter only a short ah, time ago. What a pleasant way of putting it, Hendrick. <laughs> oh, that. Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Aye, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void that you met Grand Master Pang and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor, Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Hendrik, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said Old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Mm. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. 
But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. Sounds like we're going to get the ubiquitous uh, JRPG airship, you know? As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there will know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Reb rejoins the party. Yay! Yay! Yeah, Hunter, me too. Like, back in the day. When I was younger, I was a fucking stick figure. And I always tried to gain weight. You know, get those gains. And now that I'm... Not as young as I was. Uh, it's funny, because now it's the opposite. Like, I'm trying to keep the weight off. You know, it's, it's so hard to be on that happy middle, you know, Hunter? Rab can now use the Pearly Gates ability, and Dagomar Rab can now use the Solar Flare Pep Power. Nice. Honored Luminary, we disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. I take great offense to that, Brackish. I take great- I am not 29. Again, Brackish. I am 21. With many, many years experience. Alright? I am 21 with many years experience. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. Alright. Hi. Mm, Like the snowballs being rolled down a hill in Zelda. Oh no, damn me. <laughs> oh. Uh, really quick. Let's go down here. Uh, oh hey, there's a- Oh, there's a quest! Well, oh, that's good to know. Is this a church store? This church is set up like it's a fucking store. What the fuck? <laughs> I would like to buy some salvation, please. Okay, that'll be 69.69. Thank you. 